Bronte has a beautiful waterfront, but just steps away, Bronte Square is soon revealing something special. A mural, you know, like this just kind of adds vibrancy and color and it kind of, you know, pulls people into the space and, you know, makes them want to explore it. And it was an engaging process in creating the mural. So there was, you know, a survey that went out, many people responded, there were some focus groups. It's something that we maybe haven't done before. It, um, you know, has uh, some semblance of our past, but it's also fun and exciting and kind of moves us into the future too. So STEPS Public Art is a Canadian charity and social enterprise and we do a lot of public art and placemaking initiatives. So this mural here is a community engaged mural um, created by our lovely artist Ksenia. And it's basically a way to make this part of the community um, brighter and more beautiful and a spot for people to come together and celebrate and enjoy their lives. It's stunning. It's beautiful. People have dr done um, drone uh, pictures of it, drone videos and images, and it looks beautiful from the sky. It's a place where all people can come and gather and share stories and share music and pull out a guitar and do a poetry reading and meet other locals. And you need a public square and that's what this is. Everything in the mural, by the way, is inter interpretational, so it's up to you to see what you want to see, and that's yours, whatever you imagine. And, and I really hope that vibrant colors of this mural uh, just make someone's day um, and make someone just happier just by looking at it. So it starts with community consultation, with the survey that uh, the Bronte BIA put out. What people would love to see in this mural, and that's how all the symbols here that, that are here today came about. I took all the responses and cooked this design. <laughs> uh, it's not finished yet, so don't judge it by the way it looks today, but it will be finished maybe in another week or so. Looking forward to seeing this completed work of art in a few weeks. I'm Dee Glazebrook for Halton News.